952. What do you think you're doing, Malfoy? Me? I'm trying to keep the school clean, like any good Slytherin would do. Well, you know, this isn't litter. It's information about an inclusive book club. As pre hold this. As prefect. Thank you. I should inform you that those belong on a notice board, not all around the halls. This might come as a shock to you, but we do actually have rules here, Potter. You know, funny you should mention that, but um, I have been putting these up on the notice board several times, but it seems like every time I try to do it, someone takes them down. How odd. Well, give me that. Have a bad day, Potter. Right, it seems like the curse is clear. Ahem! <clears throat> Vandalizing Hogwarts again with your little party invites, Potter. Well, um, it's... It's not really mine, it's your fellow Prefect Hermione's idea to host this thing, and it's not really a party, it's... It's a book club. But, um, tell me, Malfoy, why is it that you really seem to have something against the focus on LGBTQ plus people? I do not! Well, it's hard for you to understand when you were raised by muggles. But the wizarding community is very inclusive to edu such people. Really? Yes. Some even call us allies. Is that so? Naturally. I know it's hard for a muggle race like you to understand such inclusivity. Naturally, yes. So, uh, then I, I just have this one teeny tiny little question. Yes, Potter? Where are all the LGBT people? Excuse me, what? Well, I mean, if the wizarding community is really as inclusive as you say, then why does it sort of seem like there aren't really any people that fall into this category at all in the wizarding community? Isn't that a little bit odd, do you think? Don't be stupid, Potter. There are plenty of LGB such people in the wizarding community. Who? Like... Dumbledore? <laughs> are you suggesting that our headmaster is just some gay poster boy? Besides, Wearing purple robes and high heels doesn't make you gay, you blundering bigot. Of course not. Uh, what I'm saying is that there aren't really any out and proud LGBT members of the wizarding community. You know, aside from Dumbledore, who isn't really all that out after all. People get to decide for themselves what they want. You don't get to push a sexuality onto them just because you don't agree with their sexuality. People can be whoever they want, they can like whoever they want, Malfoy. I'm just saying it's a little odd that there's only one person in this community that's somewhat out. I mean, doesn't that to you seem a little bit like the wizarding community is not really as open and all right about these LGBT people as they're boasting about being? I mean, and, and then they eventually force these youths to hide themselves and who they really are, and then they just kill them with silence? No, I don't think so. What about Seamus and Dean, then? What? Those Gryffindors? Well, I don't know what you are all doing in your dorm rooms. No, I'm sure it's freaky. Alright, then let's talk about the Slytherins. How about Parkinson? 
What about Pansy? Well, she was sitting in class yesterday, spending literally all class sending kisses to Emily behind her book. I mean, you must have noticed she was sitting right next to her. You are just full of lies today, Potter. Pansy wouldn't be blowing kisses to anyone else because she is in love with me. Besides, why are you so obsessed with my table? Who's the gay one now, huh? Well, I mean, you were literally sitting right in front of me and, well, she was blocking my view of the blackboard. And, and so what if I was gay? That's, that's not a negative thing, that's not a slur, and, and, and you thinking that it is just proves your prejudice. And, and I can tell you that even if I was gay, I certainly would not be interested in you. No matter my sexuality. I don't know. Seems like the only one gay around here. It's you. <laughs> right. Sure. So, what about you Malfoys? Don't you think your father's a little- What? There's nothing gay about the Malfoys, Potter. Well, I mean, everyone sort of knows. Well, anyway, my point is, the wizarding community is literally hurting the LGBT youths with their boasting of a false inclusivity. They're, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of seeing friends and godparents and teachers having to hide their love because of the wizarding community not being inclusive and just trying to silence them. And I, you know what Malfoy, I am going to take this poster and I'm going to go hang it up. You have a nice day. Yeah, you do that, Potter. I will do that, Malfoy. Get on with it. Stop taking up my time. I have to do rounds as a prefect, you know. Stupid Potter. He's ridiculous. Book club. <laughs>